Hello everyone, welcome to Devs and Coffee. I'm Sanjeev and I'm part of the Alexa developer marketing team. As part of the series uh, called Devs and Coffee, we are very excited to be talking to Alexa developers and uh, sharing their stories. Uh, we will talk about uh, their journey with voice and with Alexa, talk about their Alexa skills, what has worked for them, what hasn't worked for them. And of course, we'll also be asking for some tips that they can offer to other developers so that they can also build successful experiences on Alexa. Okay, so let's get started. Our uh, guest today is uh, Tapan Chauhan. Uh, he's the co-founder of Smart Voice Studio based in India. Uh, Tapan, welcome to the show. Uh, happy to have you here. Tell me more about your uh, uh, your company. How did you start it? Uh, why did you start it? And uh, your journey building experiences for voice and particularly for uh, Alexa. Okay, so I'll, I'll start with my experience in IT industry. So I have around 10 plus years of uh, experience in IT industry. I have worked with companies that work in healthcare industry, retail industry. And um, a few years back, I would say four years back, um, I got to know about Amazon Alexa from one of my friends who is running digital agency, uh, digital marketing agency. And uh, as I was a techie, he thought uh, this would be very interesting for me. And I did some research, I found it interesting, and then I started developing or designing use cases for Alexa. In uh, January 2020, uh, pre-COVID, I decided to, you know, leave my full-time job and start working on my company uh, called Smartware Studio. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was a roller coaster ride for us, but uh, we survived and we are doing really well. Uh, now we are a five-member team. So w- what prompted that shift uh, during the pandemic? What what encouraged you to become an entrepreneur full-time? So it took around eight to nine months, to be very frank. I was developing Alexa skills for as a freelancer. Um, uh, I was able to make what I used to get from my job. So uh, I thought this, this can be something... Uh, I, I can do and uh, thanks to the support from my family they told me that if you want to take risk you can take the risk and uh, I, I had a pipeline of uh, 15 to 20 clients and they were very exciting use cases not just simple uh, radio station or podcast like there are there were actual use cases that be that might be helpful for the end users right so at the time I, I, I thought uh, why not take a risk if it this does not work then I can I can go back to my full-time job because I was not able to uh, uh, justify my efforts, I, I would say justify my passion towards building these Alexa skills. Because when you are in your full time job, you have to concentrate on uh, your full time job, and parallel you have to work on it. So you cannot do, do both. What are your uh, top uh, two or three most popular Alexa skills that your customers uh, love, and what what do they do? How do they serve your uh, end customers? Notable ones that we have created are from uh, the health, uh, health and uh, wellness side. One that we have created is for meditation, where we created it for uh, kids. We hired voiceover artists from US. Uh, we recorded the voice. We had our own um, audio editor, so we had uh, we added um, uh, sound effects. We added background tracks, and it it was very very unique and delightful experience for kids. So on that uh, health and wellness skill that you. Uh, created for you for uh, kids what is the differentiator versus other skills uh, that might be uh, available two things first is it was more like the guided meditation and for guided meditation it is more like you are taking the kid to a journey in in, in their own way like the magic carpet you are you are sitting on a carpet and it will fly and you are you are moving over mountains and trees and so it's it's very uh, you know uh, delightful experience for kids as well so it is difficult for, to uh, you know uh, explain the kids why you should meditate they do not know the the uh, the benefits of it but using this specific experience uh, they, they they love uh, what 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 we call as guided meditation and with the sound effects and all uh, I, I think we have done really pretty job uh, we have seen a few other skills where uh, it's more like uh, they have added only background track to the, 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 the voice and also in the, the robotic voice. This is more like uh, the, the human touch to it. In your experience building um, uh, building skills for Alexa, are there uh, one or two features that have been 
game changes for you in helping you build uh, voice experiences? Or what would they be? Can you uh, talk about those? There are a lot of features uh, released by Amazon Alexa that were very helpful. But I can think of three features uh, that were, you know, uh, game changing. First would be the account linking. We have clients there, they have their own platform. They have their own user login page where, you know, they have their own subscription model. And they were not uh, aware of how they will uh, fit into this Alexa model, right? Because we have our own ISP model. So in that case, uh, having account linking, it helps uh this branch retain their existing users so it will be more like the complementary experience to the uh, uh existing uh, user experience right it would be more like you have the uh, you have your own website or mobile application but apart from that you will have uh, the access to our alexa skill as well so for that you don't have different subscription or something like that we do not have to do uh, a lot on uh, on the development side as well so it's linked to their existing uh, system and we are good to go Mm -hmm. So that's the first feature that I can think of. Second would be Alexa presentation language. We know uh, it's a voice technology, but, you know, having uh, having a display device where uh, you can show few things that you cannot share with the users just to reduce the cognitive load. So it, 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 has, it provides you more flexibility to share some information. Plus, uh, it, it comes with the touch events. And so it, it's more like it's, it's coded in you. You want to type, you want to touch. So it gives you that feel as well. So that would be the second and the third one and the major one would be the ISP. Mm -hmm. Skill purchase, right? So there are a lot of developers, they are developing this skill for fun, but you know, uh, there has to be a kind of hook to it. You, If you are, if you are uh, getting something out of it, it will motivate you to do more and more of that. And there are clients, they have their own uh, requirement. If I am putting a lot of money in developing Alexa skills, what I'm getting out of it? Mm -hmm. Not just the user experience or not... Uh, they don't want to just create a user experience or a kind of provide complementary platform for the users, but they want to get something out of it. That's mm -hmm. where ISP comes, right? They can generate the revenue for the valuable content. Uh, so from the client point of view, they are getting something out of it. And from the company side, if we are building our own skills, we are also generating revenue out of it. I'd like to I'd like to hone in on uh, ISP since uh, since you brought it up. How was how was uh, uh, using isp helped you uh, and your company when you are running a company we used to uh, you have to you know keep the uh, revenue numbers in mind earlier we used to uh, create alexa skills for clients and uh, that was only uh, the way we used to generate the revenue but after uh, after getting into the isp or uh, designing the isp experience we see that uh, now um, i would say 30 to 40 percent of the company's revenue was generated from ISP, and that is really helping us to, you know, uh, get new experiences for user or get more work power to design new Alexa skill for our company and for customers. So that is uh, that has been really helpful for us. Excellent. So let's end with this, uh, Tapan. A fun question for you: What are some of the Alexa skills outside of what you guys have built that you use on a regular basis? There is one skill: uh, Kiss me good night. Okay, and uh, it's just more like I, I like it because you know uh, it's it's uh, it's very simple and uh, I would say very innovative because mm -hmm. few people that they are alone they they uh, they want that uh, you know someone talks to them or someone says goodbye good night to them right so that's that's one skill and the second one is the ambient song that I mm -hmm. regularly use. Thanks for your time in uh, talking to us. Um, I think we learned a lot uh, from your journey building um, uh, experiences on Alexa and uh, continue with the good work and uh, all the best to you and to your uh, company as well. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjeev. It was nice talking to you.